Who makes the cream cheese? Philadelphia. Yeah, have you heard that thing? They're, they're, paying, they're paying people not to buy the. There's a shortage. I might just buy some. Just there's a, a shortage for. on cream cheese apparently for cheesecakes, <laughs> and uh, thankfully there wasn't one. Mom made one for for us for our wedding because we got to have it. It was delicious, but she actually did it for Thanksgiving. Uh, but yeah, Philadelphia cream cheese is paying people not to buy cream cheese. The other thing that's flying off the shelves, not kidding, what? Rice Krispies. Really? Everybody's making Rice Krispie treats. I we went. Really? No joke. The other night, we went to Ralph's. Then we went to CVS. Then we went to... Like nobody had Rice Krispie, like the cereal? The cereal boxes. Then we went to Stater Brothers. That's weird. Then we went to Walmart. Then we went to Target. Every one of them sold out, all sizes, empty shelves, no Rice Krispies. And they're still gone. What's worse, the Rice Krispie shortage or toilet paper shortage? Man, we've had so many shortages lately. I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough Probably one. Probably toilet paper. I've tried to wipe my butt with Rice Krispies. It doesn't work. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up Corbin. I'm Rick. Today we got a cricket video. You know what? Rick, I, when I was little, I did a Rice Krispies commercial. I wish I could find it somewhere. I talked to Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Hey, uh, stupid family, go find his. Uh, go find my Rice Krispies commercial. Yeah. I, it would have been circa 1979. Ish. Great year, we went to the moon. 77? Went to the moon. <laughs> I might have gone to the moon in 79, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the moon July of 1969, July 20th to be We've exact. been to the moon many times. The first time. <laughs> it was a beautiful Oliver Stone set. Yes, exactly. This is a uh, this is cricket top video. Ten, say this name for me. Top 10. Malinga's Unplayable Yorkers in Cricket. Malinga, he's a, I, I believe he's Sri Lankan actually, but he's actually played for a couple IPL teams uh, in India uh, before as a, as a pitcher. And okay. then, uh, so he's played all around there, he, but he's apparently known for the Yorker. I will look up right now what exactly the Yorker is. Yorker. Not to be confused with the new Yorker, myself. In Cricket, a Yorker is a ball bowled which hits the Cricket pitch around the batsman's feet. Okay, so it's down at the feet. When a batsman assumes the normal stance, he this generally means that the cricket ball bounces on the cricket pitch on or near the batsman. Uh, the batsman's popping, popping crease. We don't know what that is. The popping crease? Yeah. I do love a good popping crease. Yeah. Don't you? I do. It needs to be lubricated. Of course. As far as, uh, you know, yeah, of course. I, I have found that if it's, if it's not lubricated, the popping can be quite chafing. Um, let's just start this video. <laughs> On the first ball. Steph is going down big stuff. That's scary. <laughs> okay, yeah. So... Does it have to hit the ground before it hits the wickets? Or could you just throw it in straight at the wickets? I think you can throw it straight. But that's the thing, because oftentimes it bounces way, 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 way before. So this is like a this tricky is down hit. at the feet. That must be hard to hit. I like his hair. He's got epic hair. Dude, old Joe Meany. Brilliant, you look good. Brilliant Yorker, Scott Sterling! He has great hair. Well, I just can't kick him, can they? I mean, he's getting my eyeballs. That last one, 125 k's. Here it is. Side spinner again. And the bat comes down, goes around it, and clips the off stump. And away you go, the ball. Are there lights in the... Oh, this is hot. Yeah. To confirm it's been hit. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh! It's the time pressure. It's the town crusher. Is he okay? I'm not sure about this one. To be careful. Flash on this one. This. You may have lost you. Oh, I'm seeing this boat. Oh! It's missing the next up by quite a while. I don't think that is great at all. There have been some good ones. That's a good thing for the pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Did that hit him? 
Rachel Johnson's defense. Did it go in between his feet? Did it really? Just completely through Mitchell Johnson. Very difficult. Show it again. Again, I didn't change his pace. Oh, oh right okay. in front of him. I thought it went like between his legs. That's gotta be scary. I'm surprised, it hit. I'm surprised they don't have a covering on the top of their foot. I wonder if they're like steel toed. He can finish off. Well, for Sherman, that's been two good strikes. Can you see it? Four and four. Oh, this Sherlock has got done it around. That's crazy. That's gotta be. Because one thing to obviously have it hit right in front, and you have a little more time to figure out where it's going. Yeah, as a but... batsman. In. At the last minute, it came back in. Ooh. Enough to bring the bat down. That's it. It's crazy that like you can hit and then hit the person. And that's it. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, it's just, uh, I think he was playing for it to continue in. Fully committed and blew it. Would have killed him to move the leg. Easy decision for the umpire. Well, that's. Oh, brilliant change of pace. It's not over yet. So different from also why is it called a Yorker? Was the original guy? Yeah, what's that come from? Was the original guy named Yorker? Because that'll happen. Um, but yeah. like I obviously it's it's obviously hard enough, obviously what we've talked about when you throw a normal uh bowl and it hits kind of far in front of the batsman, right? You at least have a little time. Uh, even though you still it's as we've seen, they can curve, it can kind of do whatever it wants because the ground's kind of an um a uh, a wild card of what, what the ground can do to the ball, but this is like if you throw and it hits right in front of you, right? And so that, you and have I, very little time to react to that. And does it so, like, there's only a few ways you can hit it, too? Yeah, and the only way I would think about it, in, it as far as like a batsman's concerned, is the kind of philosophy I would have as a, a hitter in baseball can a batsman step up toward the bowler if they, like, for example, if they see on release, I don't even know if they could tell that it's coming in as a Yorker and they don't want it to kind of jimmy them up as it hits down at their foot, or maybe it doesn't even matter. Could they step up a little <laughs> bit and hit it before it hits the ground? Yeah, I think so. Cause I think you can, but I see none of them did it. Maybe it's just because it's too you, fast. It's, it's coming in too fast and you cannot make the adjustment fast enough to step up or not yeah. when it's coming in. You right. may not be able to make the adjustment. Yeah. It just depends on, I guess if you, you can see exactly what he's doing. And also another question I have, 
Why do they always run so far? What's the advantage? I had the exact same thought watching this video. What's the advantage of running, like, as opposed to, like, I don't know. 10 meters. Yeah, uh, half of the distance. Yeah. Because you do hit terminal velocity with your run at some point where yeah. you're, you're taking 10 extra steps at the same speed you did the prior 10. Is it just a preference based off of what the people like? They, they're like, I just feel comfortable running 30 yards? I yeah. bet it's comparable to like a pitcher's windup and the way they feel with the way that they do it from either the stretch or they from like the taking wind up. 12 steps before they throw yeah, exactly. or something like that. Yeah, yeah I yeah, was I've wondering that. Me too. I was watching this and thinking, why do some of them run so far? Yeah. It seems counterintuitive because you're not going to add any velocity to the ball and you're expending energy yeah. with the extra steps. Yeah. But interesting. I'm sure there's a reason. Yeah. Let, let me know. I don't know. Uh, and uh, let us know other cricket videos. Like, put them down in the comments below. And what's below a Yorker? And upvote like them. Why was it called yeah, Why that? is it called the Yorker? Yeah. And uh, give us other videos that we can react to uh, Indian content or, or others of other cricket things so we can learn a little more. Um, what's been your favorite cricket movie? You got it still? Oh, yeah. Where's Kai Boche? Kai Boche was a great film. That was very good, but... Lagan. Yeah, it's a classic. This is a classic. It's a classic. There's been a couple good ones, though. Um, those two, for sure, I think. Kai Boche was a really good movie. Well, we'll see if 83 and Jersey get added. Well, we've only seen one version all. of Jersey. Yeah, but that wasn't part of the equation, yeah. for me at least. To, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll... we'll we shall see. Shahid and Ranveer duking it out. Um, somebody said um, Topeka's only in four minutes of the second half. Of the second half of the film. Right. So she's in it a lot in the first half? I don't know. Maybe she's not in it a lot at all. Who's, who's keeping track and why? I don't know. I think, well, it's people that have already seen it. Yeah, but why, do we, why does this like... I don't know. Fahad Fasil is in like 15 minutes of... Uh, people, push keep tra- people keep track of it. Like India has this this thing that I've noticed as well, that's unique to them. They'll often when they see a new movie, they'll put out a review of the first half of the film and do reviews by halves, because I, it's some it's something strange I've noticed. Like because we don't do that here. It's like no, you review the film as a whole. And do they do they take into account screen time minutes? Like someone's there. No, oh, there are people that do it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's weird, right? Anyways, let us know more cricket videos <laughs> that we can react to <laughs> down below. Josh!